Hey everyone, Amy here, and today we are going to learn how Copilot is going to transform the way that you work within 365 apps. With that being said, let's nerd out. And to start things off, we are going to take a look at Copilot for the web. Here we are in Copilot for the web. This is formerly known as Bing Chat and similar to ChatGPT. At Amy's Animal Shop, we are planning a work retreat to New Zealand. We are going to ask Copilot to create an itinerary for a 10 day trip to New Zealand with a focus on tea building. Now we're going to see here that Copilot is generating us a response and the way that we prompt Copilot is a whole nother science. But as you can see here at the top, we are providing it say, hey, we're doing a 10 day trip to New Zealand, create an itinerary for us with a focus on team building. So we are providing context and we are also specifying what we would like this outcome to look like. And here we can really see the power of Copilot. Like, I mean, look at all of this content. It has really provided us with a nice breakdown, which is exactly what we were looking for, as well as some reference links at the bottom. Another common thing that Copilot does is create images. So here I prompted it to say, can you create an image of herding dogs in New Zealand? And look at these amazing images that just look so professional and attention grabbing. So we can use those in some of our invitations to our staff. And now that we have that foundation of Copilot for the web, we can take a look at that work feature. Get to Copilot for work, we can just toggle to this work option here at the top and do note that you will need to be logged into your business account. And here is our work page. So in our example, I'm planning this trip to New Zealand and I'm going to ask Copilot to summarize emails containing New Zealand in three sentences. So what Copilot is doing here is it is going through all of my emails within my Office 365 suite and it is searching for emails containing New Zealand. Now Copilot can search for other documents that are in your 365 app. It's not just limited to emails. And I did also further want to add that I'm saying containing New Zealand, but you can say from Sarah. So there is a lot of flexibility here, but in my case, I just wanted to say emails containing New Zealand. Now, the last thing that I wanted to note here is that now that we have created this new prompt on the top right, there is some recent activity. So I can easily go back and reference this if I need to. We can now take a look at Outlook and how Copilot can help us there. For our work retreat, we want to draft an email to rafting companies in Rotorua to inquire about a discount for large groups. Here we are in Outlook, and if we select this Copilot button under the message tab, then we'll see that there are two options to either draft with Copilot or coaching by Copilot. Uh, what we want to do is draft an email. So let's select draft. And here we're going to prompt Copilot. Now, when you're drafting, you're going to notice that there's these two generation options where you can change the tone so you can make it, you know, formal or even a poem. I'm not too sure about a poem in an email, but let's just roll with it. And, or even the length as well. So if you wanted to make it like a shorter or a longer email, I'm quite happy with short. And we'll keep this direct. I have set a friendly tone here. Um, so that should help Copilot draft this email. And here we go. So now here is our email and we can see that this is, you know, doing exactly what we'd like it to. I would always recommend just, you know, going through this and making sure that it is worded the way that you like. If you did want to change anything, then you could just add additional prompts here or even click regenerate or just completely scrap it. But we're going to keep it. Let's take a look into Microsoft Teams. Here we are within Teams and the first area that I want to show you with Copilot is in this chat area. And at the top, if we select Copilot, then you're going to see that this is very similar to that work feature that we looked at in the browser version. However, if we click into these different chats, then we can see that there is going to be the power of Copilot on the top right hand pane. And if we just select that, then that's going to open up this new window. Now, because this is just me, it's saying that it needs more conversation, generate a response. But you can use prompts such as summarize this conversation. What are the key takeaways? What are the open items? We also have the power of Copilot by our side in Teams meetings. So if we select this icon at the top, then that's going to open up that Copilot navigation pane. In this instance, we could use prompts like what have I missed? And what are the next steps? What are the unanswered questions? As you can see, we are going to be covering a ton of apps in this tutorial and we're only going to be scratching the surface. So let me know in the comments below which app you would like me to take a deep dive into on my next video. Let's now take a look at Microsoft Word. 
Here we are within Word and on the top right hand side of the ribbon, we can select Copilot and that will pull up that navigation pane so that we can have Copilot at our fingertips. Alternatively, within the page area, we can select this Copilot button or simply, as everyone loves shortcuts, press Alt-I and that's going to pull up this draft with Copilot. Now, part of our trip to New Zealand is to learn how to train a herding dog to herd sheep. So let's ask Copilot to generate a training manual for us. Once it finishes, it gives you an option to further fine tune it. So if we wanted to say, you know, for example, make it fun, then we could further prompt Copilot to fine tune our content. Alternatively, you could simply click regenerate and then once you're happy, you can keep it. We can further use this Copilot on the right navigation pane to, you know, summarize content or ask questions about the document. So if you're ever unsure of something, then you could just say, Copilot, what is an Australian cattle dog, for example? Here we can see that Copilot has provided us with an explanation. And in our case, we know that an Australian cattle dog is Roo. Let's dive into PowerPoint. Here we are within PowerPoint, and if we select Copilot from the top, then we can see some prompts here of what Copilot is capable of. In my instance, I want to create a presentation from a file as I already have a Word document about this New Zealand work retreat. If we click Generate, then Copilot is now going to generate a presentation based on this document. And as a little sidebar, you do need to ensure that your document is saved within your cloud. So either within your OneDrive or SharePoint account, and then that way Copilot will have access to the document and will be able to generate a presentation based on it. We can see here that Copilot is, you know, saying here is going to be the outline and here it's even saying adding speaker notes. So that's really cool that it's going to take the content from our document and add notes to each slide of points to say. So here is a PowerPoint presentation and it is pretty impressive. If you wanted to fine tune it further, then you can just select designer at the top to adjust the layouts. Let's dive into Microsoft Loop. Here we are within Loop and to start off with Copilot, we can press forward slash and we'll see Copilot at the top. So we can see that Copilot could draft a page content for us or even summarize a page if you already had content here. In our case, I'm going to select draft page content and you'll see that Copilot can help us create, brainstorm, generate a blueprint or even describe. Now in our case, we want to create a new herding dog training program. So we're going to prompt Copilot to brainstorm ways to advertise the benefits of herding dogs learning to herd for marketing materials. All right, so here we can see that Copilot has generated five points for us. Let's dive into our favorite note-taking app, OneNote. Here we are within OneNote, and if we select Copilot from the ribbon, then we can see that Copilot can help us summarize page content, draft a to-do list, or even list pros and cons. I have this page here with some notes on the benefits of team building, and I want to ask Copilot to help me draft a short email to let the team know about our work retreat as well as outlining some of the benefits that are from this note page. We can see here that Copilot is generating and finishing up and we can simply copy this to the clipboard. Let's take a look at Microsoft Excel. Here we are with an Excel and if we select Copilot from the top right ribbon, then we can see all of the ways that Copilot can help us within Excel. So it can help us add formulas, highlight content, sort and filter, or even analyze. Now we have this revenue projections for our new training classes. And if we just add a prompt to say that we want to add a formula for profit, this way Copilot is going to be relying on these headers and it is going to ideally add that column for profit. Now, while Copilot is working away, I did want to add that similar to PowerPoint, documents need to be saved in the cloud and content also must be in a table format for Copilot to work. We can see here that Copilot has provided us with the formula, which does look correct, revenue minus cost. And if we hover over the insert column, then we can see a preview of that profit column. And if we select insert, then we can see that being added in. Now, why don't we see how Copilot can help us create a pivot table? So I want to see what the estimated profit is going to be by item. And we can see here that Copilot has drafted this pivot table, which totally looks like what I'm looking for. We've got each of those classes here as well as the sum of profit. So if we select add to new sheet, then we can see that Copilot has created a pivot table for us. Let's dive into last but not least whiteboard. 
here we are within Whiteboard in Microsoft Teams. And if we select Copilot from the bottom navigation menu, then we can see some options here. And the first one is Suggest. So in our instance, I want Copilot to suggest some ways um, that we can have some team building exercises as well as include a brief description of how they work. And here we can see that Copilot has generated a and full of team building exercises that we can incorporate into our work retreat. And look at that, this is just inputted in here and provides a nice foundation that our team can now work. We can see that it is an incredibly powerful tool within the Office 365 suite. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I really do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. And if you did enjoy this video, then I would absolutely love it if you could give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Also, as I said at the beginning, Drop a comment below and let me know which app you would like me to deep dive into on my next video. All right, we'll catch you next time.